Hi everyone, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create your EC2 instances using Boto3 Python scripts. Okay, so if you do not know the basics of Python Boto3, I would recommend you to go through this playlist called AWS Automation with Python Boto3. So it is continuation for all the basics that we have done. From now on, we are going to take up small, small projects and go in depth about those things. All right. So if you are new to this one, I'd uh, highly recommend you to watch this playlist. If you have already watched, you can continue from here. Okay. So today's aim is to create an EC2 instance using Boto3. Okay. First things first, whatever you do, you will have to open your Boto3 documentation. Right. So in Boto3 documentation, go to available services and open your EC2. OK, for this demonstration, I'm going to use client client method, not the resource method. So if you are confusing what is client and resource, I already created video and you can find that in this playlist. You can go and watch that. OK, I'm going to use client method. So I'm going to select that one. OK, so here you need to look for the method that will basically create your EC2 instance. OK, here if you see there are many things and you will have to go one by one and look for create first. So basically we are trying to create an EC2 instance. Go ahead and search and so look for create instances. If you find it, it is well and good. If not, you, you need to look into this entire documentation. OK, but I know what is that uh, method that we want to use as I've already done that couple of time. So the name of this is a run EC2 run instance. OK, let me search for that or you can also do one thing you uh, if you are con getting confused, you can click on control F and you can search for that one. OK, you just need to type in run. OK, here if you see we have that method. OK, I am. I know this because I've already worked on it. But if you're new to this one, first, what is your aim is to create an EC2 instance. First, go ahead and see in C section create. If you have any method with create instances, if you find it, see the description of it. And if it matches your purpose, go ahead and use that method. If not, you will have to go through one by one and look for the method that you want. OK, now I already know this one. I will open this one. And if you want to read out this information, you can also do that. I would recommend you to go uh, go through this, uh, you know, description once. If you see here, the first line says launches the specified number of instances using AMI for which you have permissions. Right. So we need to specify AMI while creating an EC2 instance. So one more thing here. When you create an EC2 instance, there are multiple ways of creating it. One is through going to your uh, EC2 console and click uh, do it manually. Second option by using CloudFormation or any of the infrastructure as a code tools, right? So infra uh, speaking about infrastructure at code tools, we have Terraform also. If you want to learn Terraform, I have a separate playlist for that. This is the playlist Terraform plus AWS. You can go ahead and watch that. OK, so that is also possible. Next, the third thing is by using, you know, automation script or Boto3 scripts. OK, now we are uh, looking into this method. So let us get started. OK, so I'll go to my Visual Studio code. I'll open up my Visual Studio code. OK, here what I've done is I've created a folder called project 2 and under there I've, I've just created one more file called launch underscore EC2 dot py. First things first, what we need to do as soon as you open up Python's, uh, you know, file, you need to import Boto3 script, right? So to do that, I'll just type in import. Sorry, it should be small cases import Boto3. OK, so this is going to install your uh, you know, import your Boto3 methods or modules or libraries. OK, that is fine. Next. We need to open our AWS management console programmatically, right? So how to do that? If you watched my previous video, you would be knowing it is very simple. You can just type in AWS. Underscore console 
is equal to this is just a variable name you can give any name but i am giving this one so that everyone can understand so from boto3 i need to open my management console so i will just type in boto3 dot session dot session and here i need to provide the profile name so i'll give my profile name that i have currently using profile underscore name is equal to and the profile name that i currently have is terraform hyphen user because uh, i'm you know recording terraform tutorials also so i'm using a user name called terraform user so i'm giving that here in your case the profile name would be different so you make sure that you change this user okay so if you do not know these things what i am telling i highly recommend you to go ahead and watch that playlist first okay next thing we need to do is we need to open ec2 console so to do that i'll just type in ec2 underscore console is equal to next you need to first from you when you go to ec2 console right so where do you uh, go to, how do you go to your ec2 console first you will land in this page this is management console aws management console from here you will either search for ec2 here in the search bar or you will uh, you go and select the recently visited thing but here what we can do is we can directly go from the console that is what we are doing i'll just go from management console dot and from here i need to open a client of your ec2 so let's go to our uh, you know boto3 documentation here if you see we have run instances let's see how we are uh, using that one okay so here if you see we need to go all the way up here you see this is what we have and client and the service name is ec2 right so we need to copy this one i'll just copy this part and i'll paste it here okay we are done right next thing we need to uh, do is create ec2 instance so we already know what method we need to use it is a run instances i'll again go and take that method okay so either you can search for it or you can run through this one i already know that i so i can open it so if you see here the request syntax is pretty huge here these are the things that are required basically to create your ec2 instance and it is not like you will have to provide all the details if it is okay if you do not provide all the details also but there is a caution here you need to provide the required things while you create ec2 instances some things are required for example your ec2 instance type and your ami id those things are required while creating an ec2 instance without that you cannot create an ec2 instance so you need to provide those details okay so here you have many things if you see here max count this is required key name they will specify here itself whether it is a required argument or not if you see here minimum count that is required right so these things are required uh, and you need to provide that without forgetting right so let us go ahead and copy that request syntax and we'll we'll add our things right okay i'll just copy this one uh, i'll just uh, you know copy this entire thing i'll need to make some modifications here I'll just paste it here. Instead of client, we need to add EC2 console because we are operating in EC2 console. And in run instances, we need to specify few details, right? So these are the details that we need. Okay, let me copy this one. Uh, we need image ID because we need to specify the image ID. Let me copy that. I'll hit enter. I'll paste it here. We'll provide the name later. I mean, the string value here. Uh, that will provide later but we'll see what are the required things first okay next instance type is required because while uh, creating an instance you need to provide a, a instance type right i will copy one such example and i'll paste that also i'll you know change the type later on but we, these things are required okay so and as you saw minimum and maximum count are required i need to copy that also i'll paste it in my visual studio okay next so that those are the required things but if you want high level you know um, naming convention and all you can use tags also and you can specify the vpc id and all those things if you want but to keep it simple i'm not going to go uh, in depth about that one 
okay it is your uh, it is left to your choice whether if you, you want to create these things or not uh, i mean uh, if, if you want to provide uh, if all the details or not but it will work even if you provide uh, the required things okay so that is what our intention is next we need to provide the image id first right so where do you get the image id image id is nothing but your ami id so you need to go to your aws console and we can also automate this by by the way you can also fetch your ami ids from your aws account and you can also store that information and also launch an ec2 instance later on but we are in we are still beginning right so we cannot go and do that right now but as let let's try and do that later on but now let us go with the basics okay if you see here while creating an inst instance we have image id I've just copied that image ID. Let me come back here and in, in type of your image ID, I'm, I'm pasting that. Okay, instance type, you need to provide it. So I'll just say t2.micro because that is completely free for everyone. So t2.micro. Okay, next maximum count, how much uh, EC2 instance do you want to create? I'll just go with one. And what is the minimum count? I just want one EC2 instance. Okay, so these are uh, this is also these are all the things that you need to specify by creating an EC2 instance. Okay, after doing all of these things, you can just save this one and you can just go to run, run without debugging. In my case, okay, L let's see if we have any error. I have not tested it. I am recording it directly. So let's see if we get any error. We can fix that by looking into the errors. Okay, so if you see, we did not get anything. That means our EC2 instance might have created. Okay, so let us go back to our EC2 console. I'll go to instances. Okay, here if you see a new EC2 instance is spinning up. If you see the status is in pending state. Okay, so I guess this is the EC2 instances that we created using our Python Boto3 script. Okay, this is how you create your EC2 instance using your Python Boto3 on top of your automation okay let's learn basic first and let us go to the complex uh, automation parts later on okay i hope you enjoyed learning along with me if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one